Welcome back to Crazy House Performance. Like a dum-dum, I deleted the intro video to finishing up the top end of the Hemi. So I'm remaking that now. Uh, I'm gonna post the video today. The only thing that was missed was installing the lifters and a little bit of lifter talk. Uh, there was not a lot there, so not a big deal. Outside of that, I want to take a minute to say this is not what we intend to bring you guys as content on a day-to-day -day basis. We want to show you guys a lot more of our street hits, street racing, track racing, uh, road trips that we have planned, and we also have giveaways such as turbos coming up. I'm not going to go into too much detail of what that looks like or when, but you guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned because we do plan on doing some really awesome stuff and hopefully racing some of our idols and other big YouTube channels. So with that being said, let's jump into the next clip of finishing this thing and let's go for our first ride and I'll see you guys at the end of it. I got the lifters in and you might have seen me tip tapping away here and uh, I was missing the dowels in, in this side of the block. I have them in a bag somewhere so I just pulled them out of the race block. But anyways, uh, got everything in here, got the faces cleaned up. I'm just using a factory head gasket. That's all I really wanted to show you guys. I'm not doing any fancy th things there. So we got a mess out here and sorry for the time lap I guess you could call it because a lot of stuff happened between the camera dying SD card being full but we've got the heads fully on torqued and the rocker arms and everything are on there and torqued everything turns over nice and freely um, went to go put the crank on and the threads in the crank were stripped so uh, ended up going to O'Reilly's and got a bigger bolt and tapped the crank and it is on there nice and snug We've got Keith on the phone if Keith wants to say hi. I don't know if he will but Hello YouTube world. Oh, hello Is let's see pull the phone out real quick pretty sure it's a little after three. Yep. It's 308 a.m I ran into a couple little more snags here, but I got the belt. I got all the accessories on got all the connectors and clips done other than this side so the magnum uh when i put the motor in it this motor was down so i robbed four coil packs off of this and put it in the magnum so firing it up tonight kind of went out the drain unless i want to go take them off the um the magnum but that also posed another problem is i want the o2 to read so that way you know it idles normal chops etc so i'm gonna wait i'm gonna set up the exhaust side of the stuff tomorrow morning so we are back this morning so good morning we are uh just out here waiting on a guy actually to message back i need some of these boots i can go buy them but if i can get them for cheap then i'd rather do that but anyways um kind of waiting to hear from that guy i've got my hot side in here and i just want to clean it up that they're a little dirty um so try to clean them up and then get them on the truck it's not how I normally do it, but a lot of people have asked to see what it looks like um, without the fenders and everything on it, so that's what we're going to do. Goodness! So we got some coil packs. They're a little dirty, but I'm going to clean them up. Huge shout out to... Let's see if I... I'm pretty sure his name was Steven. Let's check it out real quick. I don't want to get his name wrong. Yes. Oh no, Sean. Sorry. So Sean, huge shout out to Sean. He's seen my post on Facebook and he had a couple of these laying around. So now we're gonna throw them in after we clean them up. Got me some Dutch, which is kind of wrong timing in the day for it, but we're doing it anyways. Got no sleep life. So we're gonna get to work. Hopefully we can get this thing going. Um, we got the hot side and everything mocked up just so you guys can see it. Um, you know, without the fenders, it actually to me kind of looks a little goofy uh, without the, the body on it. But I thought it'd look a little cooler. It's still pretty neat, but anyways, yeah, it comes underneath the frame there on both sides. And then you obviously got your wastegate and then here, exhaust hot side. So this looks god awful long and skinny uh, without the fender on it to me, but... When it's all in there it doesn't look all crazy like that but anyways let's get this thing running from side to side of the shop about 15 times which isn't a big deal considering how small it is but 
definitely tracking some miles today it seems like so what I did is I robbed the battery out of the diesel and this should do it so we'll see what happens Well, it started, but we got a mess. Hopefully it's not oil. It's oil, what the heck? Oh, <laughs> dumb, dumb. Kind of helps if you put an oil filter on it. Well, we're all capable of mistakes. Hold on, don't do that. Oh. I'm gonna just go get some oil rags, hopefully. So. I'll be back with you after I clean up this mess. Let's try this over again, huh? Okay guys and gals, we got Goldilocks over here again. We uh just talking about how we have issues with the truck and not recording it while we're going through the steps, but there yeah, seems slacker. what was that? I said yeah, slacker. Yeah, I'm slacking. So there seems to be some sort of misfire, and in the process of that, let me put this in my pocket. I sent my hand up here. And I noticed that the intake was really hot on uh, essentially number five. And we're trying to figure out as to why that is. Granted, one of the things that Keith mentioned is that number five uh, was one of the cylinders that blew up and that it might have come up and smacked a valve just enough to bend it. However, continued to have GoPro issues today. <laughs> um, so anyways, to finish what I was saying, I was letting this charge because the battery died and I'm at 18% now, so I'm gonna try to hurry it. But I was filling the intake runner and number five was hot. And Keith said, well, is that the one that blew up? And it was one of the ones that blew up. So we were a little nervous that it nicked a valve. But instead of ripping the head off real quick, we decided to, uh, oops, move Keith over here real quick. Come on. He's still up here. Can we fix, there we go. Look at that ugly mug. Sheesh. He doesn't even know you guys are looking at him. There we go. So anyways, um, see if we can get you guys in here before this thing dies. So, right in there, at the very tippy top, you can see the push, push rod is actually not 100% in its slot. So, I'm gonna loosen the rocker shaft, put it back in, start it back up, and see if it sounds like it's running on all eight. All right, so we got Mr. Keith over here ready to make some noises make any power and then uh i got the valve cover back on everything's plugged in so we're gonna go ahead and try to fire it up i feel like a moron walking with a camera and a phone with a camera facing to me but two times the camera two times the fun <laughs> i said we're just doing normal brent and jamie stuff because they're always on facetime talking to somebody yeah that's true all right so we're gonna set this thing down for a second Let's go ahead and see what happens. I was saying 11.6 there on that last little bit of the air fuel ratio, but it sounds like it's running on all eight. It's not camming right now, but what was that, Keith? I said, remember your truck likes to be super lean for it to cam. Yeah, right. right. We got the garage a little bit tidied up to some degree. Got the intercooler up here because I'm gonna have to give that a little bit of a clean. 
um, I was losing my head every time I turned around I couldn't find something so <laughs> I had to do something about it so I got it cleaned up the dogs are a little bit happier I'm a little bit happier so I got to pull the turbo housings back off and just kind of make sure that there's nothing in them they're spinning a little tighter than I want them to and there might have just been some residual metal or something in here and before I you know run in a bunch of boost on them I just want to clean it up okay so one in the morning we got the nose sitting on it um, I did put the wastegate dumps in already I started to put in the um, downpipe the only reason why I didn't record it is because this camera is being weird so I left it on the charger for until it said 100% so now it says 100% so I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting in the exhaust there is going to be some adjustment like for instance like right now see this is way way off um but that's part of the way it's bolted to the flange so we'll kind of play with that it's also not completely bolted to the truck yet so <laughs> excuse me so there's a couple of things to tweak um one thing i never got to was trimming this wastegate dump off just a little bit more i need to take like eighth inch off that well actually more like a quarter at its deepest but uh anyways we're gonna keep trucking along here it's coming along so i definitely can't complain i keep getting more and more excited and of course it snows but i'm gonna drive it anyways so i'm gonna put you guys on time lapse and hopefully finish this up Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, I guess we're probably actually waiting for it to be driven, but it is essentially done. Everything is zip tied and up out of the way that I can see as of for right now. I also need to do is put water in it. Guys, are we ready to try to take this thing for a drive? Let's see what happens, huh? I really appreciate you guys tuning in this far. The truck is done and cleaned up for the most part. So I'm excited about that. Cannot wait to give you guys a lot more content with the street on it. So here we go. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time and keep it crazy.